Hi guys, so today we're gonna do this look and my cat has decided he wants to say hi. So today I did, you know, a little clown like doll makeup tutorial. So if you wanna see how I did this look, keep on watching. I'm using 120 Classic Ivory of my matte and poreless foundation by Maybelline. And after I'm done blending that out, I just start applying my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in various places of the face and I start blending that out. And I just picked this up, but it's already so dirty. <laughs> like, it's so bad. But anyway, I'm using the Wonder Stick by NYX Professional Makeup in light medium. Contour the nose. And a little bit on the forehead. And I just apply a little bit below my lip to make it look a little bit bigger. Of course, I have to carve out my jawline to define it a little bit more, so I'm just doing that. Now I'm just using the light side of the contour stick and I actually really didn't like how it looked. It was super creasy and cakey so I would not recommend using it under your eyes however I think it looks really really good on the bridge of the nose and under the cheekbones. And now I am just using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade Fair. And I actually don't like this product either, but sometimes I do. Um, I think that the cream and then this product were interacting with each other and they just were not working. But I do sometimes like it. I just think it's really, really drying on the face, like super, super drying. So I kind of wouldn't recommend this either. And now I am just also taking that down the sides of my nose to enhance the contour furthermore and also going under the cheekbones with it, slicing those cheekbones honey. And so now I'm just setting my whole face with this powder, which I freaking hated by the way. So right here, I am just contouring and deleting my double chin using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, the contour palette of course, and I use all of the dark contouring shades and I just like mix all of them together and then I chisel my cheekbones and you know just give my face a little bit more shape, make myself look like a skinny legend. And then I just go in and contour my nose and I always just focus it on the tip because the tip of my nose is a lot rounder. And then I kind of create a button-like appearance with the contour and I only use the shade Somber for my nose. And I am also using my Morphe E30 brush. This is literally my favorite brush from Morphe. I seriously love it and I would recommend it to anyone. It's literally just my ride or die blending brush. I even have another one for my eyeshadow which you will see 
momentarily. And this is my Morphe 35B palette. It's super beat up, super blurry, but I love it. And this is what I'm using today. And I'm just using that yellow shade all the way in the left hand bottom corner. And I'm just putting that on the inner portion of my eyes and just building up that coverage. And if you guys are wondering what beat I'm using for this video, I actually made it myself on GarageBand, so if you guys want to use it, just let me know and I'm more than happy to send it over to you. And now I'm just applying my little Monroe dot that I apply every day and usually I use a sharpie but today I'm using my soft coal in black by Rimmel London. And now I am just going back in because I didn't think the yellow was pigmented enough so I'm just adding more of that yellow and I also took the white to brighten it up a little bit. So using the lighter purple and the darker purple from the 35B palette, I'm just putting that on the outer corner and kind of like following my eye shape, which my eye shape is very like winged out naturally. So I'm just following that and I really don't feel like I even have to blend anything with this palette. Like I just go back and forth a little bit and it's blended it's super super easy to use so if you like color I would definitely recommend this palette it's super super affordable and it's super bomb so go pick it up if you want my camera actually ended up dying um, so it didn't show the rest of my look but I will tell you what I did do that was not captured on camera. Basically, um, I did my eyebrows, I did these little cute freckles, um, I did blend. What I'm really trying to say here is that I did mostly everything off camera. Highlight, of course, um, eyelashes. Six. This is the look. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.